You kept me waiting. I am very sorry. You see, <laughs> I had a visitor in the house. I had to rush out, excusing myself. In fact, I didn't eat anything ah. before I left the house. And that's why I told you to tell my dad, I must eat in this house today. <laughs> and I hope the food is not good yet. No, 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 no. You are going to have it very fresh, crunchy and hot. Ah, then let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah? The house is empty. What's happening? The children have gone back to school. Uh -huh. So, what about their mother? She escorted them to school. She followed them. What for? From the you don't have these children. You just decided to do that? Yes. Oh my God! What's the problem? Only I told you I'm hungry. I'm not eating anything all day. Don't worry. Relax. Everything is okay. Sorry, it's okay. I thought I told you I was hungry. Relax. Everything is under control. Oh. What is this? I told you you are going to get it hot, crunchy, and delicious. This is crunchy toast bread. 
fat. Toast and bread? Yeah. Only toast the bread at 2 p.m. Come, I wonder whether you, even you yourself, have you eaten anything today? Uh, I didn't want to drink before you came, so I had to wait for you. I wanted you to have it toasted, crunchy, and delicious. It's always very wonderful to eat two cups of cold orange juice. Now, how many slices of bread do you want? Two or four? Two will be okay. I will take four. What? Tell me. I wonder how you had your bachelorhood years. Uh, well, honestly, Ola, it was all my fault. I can't understand it. What do you mean? I wasted the moments I could have learned to be a wonderful cook from my wonderful, excellent, homely mother. Hmm. My mother was an excellent cook. She could cook even for the Queen of England. Eh? <laughs> Queen of England? Yes. And what would she be making? Pounded yam? <laughs> Not at all. Uh -huh. My mother would always insist that I enter the kitchen and learn some cooking techniques. I was always running away from the kitchen. And she was always calling me, Kune, Kune, Mabo, Mabo. <laughs> but I won't go to the kitchen. I thought cooking was only for ladies. All my siblings are great cooks. My youngest brother is a fantastic cook. There is nothing he cannot cook. Mm. But look at me here. Mm. <laughs> the only thing I can cook is to warm frozen stew mm -mm. and frozen soup. Mm -mm. I can microwave frozen soup. That's all I can do. Whenever Yabo is not at home, oh, I am in trouble. Mm. That's why I love to step there. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> ah, Mama Bayo, wonderful woman. So how come? Why did she decide to go with the children? They want to start going to school from home. Mm. And what did you do about that? I told them I would think about it. That's why I allowed her to follow them to the hostel. Okay. That looks like a good thing to say. Ah. I want to keep my wife to myself. God is really using that campus to keep them away from home. <laughs> and also to give our wife some rest. I imagine how much she runs all about. In fact, I pity her each time those students are home during the holidays. Well, I think all the same, we must thank God for what he has done. Because some time ago, those children never desired to come home. But now, they always want to come home. Oh, that's the will of God for every home. You see, the home is supposed to be a restful place. And the home can only be restful when the peace of God is in it. Especially when the mother of the home has been finally touched by God. You know, women, <laughs> you cannot overemphasize the role of women in the home. Very, very important. Every woman must have the vision of God for her home. And my pastor always says that the first ministry of every woman is her home. Hmm. Yeah. Super. Oh. Super. Super. Hmm. Ah. You see? God has done a marvelous work in Yabo's life. Mm -hmm. be the glory. She now has time for me and the children. In fact, sometimes I begin to wonder where she gets the time to be able to combine the home and her work. Hmm. But? No, 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 no thanks. I'm giving the toast. Really? Yeah, and that's wisdom, you know. That's the wisdom the Bible says in Proverbs 31. And Jesus is that wisdom in her. And he will only teach her to walk in that wisdom as she learns to live in his fear every day. Hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Come, come. When are we going to have the right meal? 
when Iyabo gets back. Oh! 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 Ah! I'm through with all this pampering, love story, nice words, care, lovey, lovey, dovey. You know me now. Look, you know how women are. It's not me. It's not me. Only, what exactly are you driving at? Are you saying that you've been pretending to Iyabo all this while? Or that those expressions are not real? They are real. But, what I'm saying is that I want to take hold of my home. I want to be the man in the house. You know how women can be when you shower them with too much love. They have a tendency to want to misbehave. That's what I'm driving at. <laughs> Every woman, whether a believer or not, performs most efficiently in an atmosphere of love and tender care. Now, I don't know how God has fashioned this, but I'm sure it's the way he just created them. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. Hmm. Professor Ola, tell me more. Never, ever you stop loving her if you do not want your home to malfunction. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, your home is sweet. The atmosphere is cordial. Even your children love coming home. Right? Yes, you're right. Yeah. That's because the home builder is alert. She functions efficiently well and she's faithful to her responsibility. She will beautify your life and home because everything she needs has been released to, to her by God. Hmm. She will beautify your home as you create the atmosphere for her to perform these roles most efficiently. Hmm. You've made a very powerful point there, Ola. You know, I never saw it that way. Hey, since when have you become a marriage counselor? <laughs> it is God. <laughs> really? Yes. It really has to be God. <laughs> Come. When is your wife coming back home? Hmm. Very soon. Any problem? Because I'm fed up with burnt bread. I want the real meal. When I come to your house, I will see what you can cook. At least not burn bread and then juice. I will come to your house and eat. I'm waiting. Mm. You give thanks to God for this. Thank God for this, sir. This I am. The thing is scratching my throat. Yeah, don't bread. One fifty. Fifty naira. Bread daily. Really? One fifty. Let me take See what's slicing there. Let me take my bread. It's not good. It's not good. Eh? Why did you buy the phone for me? When you know you won't be calling me. Eh? Hope there is no problem. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Mama. I ought to have called you. I've been very busy. Bye, Olarai. I am getting better. I am meeting you. Uh, what of your friends in the village? Everybody is fine. Everybody is fine. Hey, I really miss you and my children. I don't need so many good things you. Ah, is the Yabo, my good wife. She's fine. She's fine. I beg her, Basoro, but she's not here. I uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I will soon see her. Hey, I call purposely to tell you I will be coming to your place to spend a few days with you. Eh? Kule, can you hear me? Mumboni, Mumboni, I can hear you. Uh, when exactly are you coming? Ah, I don't know yet, oh. But I should be there in about uh, two days' time. Okay, two days' time. Yes. So, tell Yabo, I will see her very well then, and my children too. Okay, ma. What up? Hey, man. Hey, she's coming. Uh, I'm going to go God bless you. I did not lie. Is it? What sort of visit is this? At this time? Oh, when we are just trying to gather ourselves together. How would Yabo feel about this visit? Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at this woman. Oh. Not this one, but this one, this one, this one. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I'm very serious, my angel. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know you want to say something. So mm. tell me. <clears throat> It's nothing serious. It's just that uh, I really don't know how you're going to take it. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> I got a call from Mama. Mommy. And uh, she said she'll be coming in the next two days and she wants to spend a few days with us. Yabo. Huh? You're not saying anything. I don't know what to say. But what did you tell her? What did you expect me to tell her? What sort of question is that? Huh? To tell her not to come? I'm not saying that. How can I say that? But you know your mother. Eh? With all her various demands, which I may not be able to cope with now that I'm no longer on leave. That's what I'm saying. So what you are saying is that I should tell her not to bother to come. Is that not what you are trying to say? <laughs> tell me. Look, do me a favor. What is it? You still have her number, right? Don't you? Have you lost yours? No. Just call her and explain to her and tell her why she should not come and visit her sons. She will understand from you at least when she hears it from your own mouth. Are, are you still following me to work? Kule, what are you saying with your mouth? Uh -huh. So you, you, you want to tarnish my image before your people? God will not allow you. Kule, God will not allow you. All I do is that I will not lose my job because of anybody. Look, Yabo, I am running late. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Are you riding with me or not? No. I will drive myself. Good! Drive yourself! We are living in a world that is complicated The right seems wrong and the wrong seems right It's complicated Different philosophies and ideologies of identities This is where we are 
did this woman choose to come at this time? Huh. This week that I start work, how will I be able to cope with all our demands? Ankule, oh. what has come over him? I mean, what have I done wrong? I don't understand. What of a Yabo, my wife? Who are okay? So, who came with today? A Yabo! Yabo! Give me a phone. They are good. Eh, Yabo! Yabo! A Yabo! 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 Shouting my name. Mommy is downstairs now. Uh -huh. uh -uh. I'll come and greet her. from my children. Yes, they've gone back to school. Ah, mm. You're welcome. So you need to go and change your clothes so that you can eat. Okay. So can we go to your room? Eh, uh, yes, we can go. Okay. Eh, that won't be nothing. I want to bring something. Like that plantain. 
Mm. But I want to bring the one that is the bonkwa that is very ripe, big, mm. Mm. but it's not ripe yet. And the vegetable, go do it. You want to see? Did you go? That one, that one, that one. When I'm coming, I can even come to the village myself. Eh, no, me only go one, one kid. Let's go to the village. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your food is ready. What about Mama? Is she eating? Who? Yes, she's already eating. So you go and join her. What about you? Aren't you eating? I'm not ready yet. Yabo, when did that start in this house? Huh? You know in this family we all sit together to eat at the table. Do you expect me to go and sit at the table alone with my mother? Is she not your mother? Is there anything bad in that? Come on, Iyabo, stop all this. Stop all this. Why can't you not behave maturely and let the light of Christ shine in you? What does that got to do with this? Eh? It has a lot, my dear. It has a lot. How will this woman know that we have a new life in Christ if not by our behavior and conduct? What have I done wrong? Have I done anything bad? Iyabo, Iyabo, ah. you are not happy. You are not happy. And you know it. The moment Mama stepped into this house, you were not happy. The moment I informed you she was coming, your countenance changed. Assuming she was your mother, would you leave her on the table to eat alone? I didn't stop your mom from coming. You were the one who wanted to give her that impression about me, and you call yourself a child of God. But you first started it by asking me what my reply was to my mother. What do you expect me to say? I expected you to inform me first before giving her your word. Eh? Eh? Yabo! Yabo! You expected me to seek your permission before allowing my mother into my house? Ah! Yabo, can you hear yourself? Huh? I have my reason, Kuli. Since we were late for school, I have been the only one cooking and have to go for work. If my mother is around, she will help me out. She will come to the kitchen and help me. But your mother will never do that. Yabo, simply go ahead and get another house help. Kuli, what is your problem? What is wrong with you? Why can't, why can't you just reason with me? I'm trying to tell you the problem I have with your mother. How she will just sit down and be waiting to be served. Yabo, Yabo, mind how you talk about my mother. Okay, I will even talk again. But be ready to prepare your mother's breakfast tomorrow because I will not wait till she wake up before I go to work. Mama, I have a share okay. Are you finished with it? Mama, see it, it, there's your daddy. And I don't want to disturb us band and wife. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I hope you gave Mama yeah, some Mama food. Yeah, Mama has eaten. She has okay, Mama. Ah. Hey, hey, Koda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kneel down, let me pray for you. Ah. Mama, why now? <laughs> I say kneel down, let me pray for you. Mama. Kneel down now. <laughs> I want to pray for you. Hey. Yabo. Mama. My God will keep and protect you. You two will live long to eat the fruit of your labor. Ashima. Don't say thank you. Say amen. She is missing. Because this prayer is coming from my heart. <laughs> amen. You will be rewarded for everything you have been doing for me. You are not doing it in vain. A time is coming when you two he go to buy us house to greet him and his wife. And his wife will take good care of you just as you have been taking care of me. Thank you, ma. Say amen to it. Don't thank me. <laughs> Say amen. amen. The prayer is coming from my heart. God will give Bayo a good wife like you who will be taking care of you. It is a very important prayer <laughs> because the prayer of every mother is for her son to have a good wife. And God has blessed my son with one. <laughs> As you are treating me like your mother. Oh. And you make my son happy. I mean, you are not happy. <laughs> I'm happy, Mama. <laughs> so, also, Bayo, 
<laughs> we make you happy. But Mama, why are you saying all this? Ah. What have I done to deserve all this? Ah, Yavo, you may not understand. But I know what I am saying. <laughs> Mr. Pule is the head of this house. But you own the house. If you don't want me here, I won't be here. Oh. If I think, my face, I will be here by force. Who will take care of me? Will I enjoy my stay? Who will give me the delicious food to eat? <laughs> Yavo. So answer my prayer. By saying me. Oh, me ba ba le ni pani. O wa lo du ba le ta shara shara. O de le se owo re. La gba la lowo awon ala le le. La gba lowo eledua. Everything you are doing to me. By your wife will do it to you. Exactly. Exactly like that. Mm. All the prayers that I prayed today you come to pass in your life. Oh. Yeah. Exactly the way you are treating me. So by your wife who treat you like that. <laughs> you two will enjoy the way I'm enjoying it in your hand. Oh. Yeah, mm. ah, you are not doing it in vain. You rebel for Yapo, who did it so well? Ah, the boy said, Talk to me, Lord. The boy said, Chess me, Lord. Tell me, I will buy you, sister. Ah, who? Who does your world? Who does your world? Who does your world? Who does your world? We are living in a world that is complicated. The right seems wrong and the wrong seems right. It's complicated. Decisions 